Location, Location, Location Presenter Kirsty Alsop, 51, Blasted Prince Harry, 38, on Twitter today following the Royal's discussion of his drug use. Prince Harry explained what various stimulants and psychedelics did for him during a live-streamed Q&A with drama expert Dr. Gabor Mate. During the conversation, the Duke of Sussex claimed that marijuana really helped him mentally but taking cocaine did nothing for him. Taking to Twitter, Kirsty told her 434,600 followers, someone needs to tell Prince Harry that county lines doesn't mean doing coke in the home counties. It means that stuff you took to ease your trauma, was soaked in the blood of those whose own trauma and lives are as far from your privileged bubble as it is possible to get. Following her bold statement, another Twitter user named Droopy Green stepped in to defend the royal. Kirsty, psychological abuse is not exclusive to the working classes, Rupi wrote. First-hand experience tells me that even the wealthy slash privileged are not exempt from the safeguarding vulnerable groups act. Kirsty then shot back, indeed not. But if you have a vast platform you don't mouth off about using illegal drugs, the trade, of, which kills people. Self-soothing is an actual thing. Rupee retaliated. User Polly also stepped in to back up Kirsty, saying, Harry never had to worry about drug dealers coming knocking for money owed to them. When you're an underprivileged user, you live dangerously in more ways than one. Rupi then replied, exploitation is more likely to happen when vulnerabilities are used and manipulated, e. g. Poverty and parenting struggles. Whereas psychological abuse is not exclusive to poverty, the privileged can also be abused, and in turn, should be protected, regardless of their wealth. Express.co.uk has contacted Prince Harry's representatives for comment. Dot last night, Prince Harry opened up about his drug use in a live question and answer session set up to promote his explosive new memoir, Spare. Speaking about cocaine, he told Dr. Mate, that didn't do anything for me. It was more of a social thing. He added, it gave me a sense of belonging for sure. It also made me feel different to the way I was feeling, which is kind of the point. While he said of cannabis, marijuana is different, that actually did really help me. The Duke of Sussex also went on to admit to using psychedelics such as ayahuasca. He described how drugs brought him a sense of relaxation, release, comfort, a lightness that I managed to hold on to for a period of time. I started doing it recreationally and then started to realize how good it was for me, he insisted. I would say it is one of the fundamental parts of my life that changed me and helped me deal with the traumas and pains of the past. The live-streamed event to promote Spare was produced by Penguin Random House in partnership with Barnes & Noble, Waterstones and Indigo Books and Music. Melting